piano practice. For many young people, it can be drudgery. But occasionally, all that work turns into a love affair. Bob Nixon has the story. Remarkable talent and a lot of practice. Normally, like six, seven hours a day, and yeah, it's, I kind of just get used to it, so. Jong began playing at the age of five, but quit at seven when his family moved to Vancouver from China, but not for long. She, I pushed him to go back to piano, yeah, it's that uh, he, uh, he still don't like it. He likes it now. For you to be playing it by yourself and to listen to the music that you're making, I think that's the part that I like the most. John is playing in a Cole Harbor penthouse as a promotion for a $145,000 piano called a Faccioli. So you'll find that a lot of these uh, pieces here are plated in 18 karat gold. Uh, the long Faccioli's are made in Italy by a man whose family made a fortune making furniture. And within a few years he was known as the maker of the world's finest pianos. And in the hands of Tim Jong, it sounds like one fine piano. But on this day, it's the player who attracts the attention. He's, he's very good, as you will hear soon. Bob Nixon, CBC News, Vancouver. So I'm just thinking, my sons are at home wondering, should we watch the second game in the doubleheader on CBC coming up in about a 30 seconds time or practice or our practice piano? Or practice piano. I, when you were talking about initial drudgery, I thought initially of your, of your sons as well. But it'll all pay off eventually. And of course, the big story, the top story, as we told you, Dave Nonis, the general manager of the Vancouver Canucks, has just been fired. That word coming